Hey, hey there, Leo. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe, baby, ring the bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here at Joy of the World, give us that big thumbs up, like and share, share with your peeps, your friends, your family, your whoever's, your whatever's, your whenever's, as these are timeless reads. They're energy sessions, just like puzzle pieces in a box. Puzzle pieces aren't labeled and numbered, are they? Or else they wouldn't be a puzzle. Each one of us is a puzzle to ourselves, and we learn to discover more and more and more as time goes by. That's why these are timeless so that whenever one draws you in, that's the one you can click on. You can even go back. They're not old and outdated. Baby, they're still live and active, fresh like a sword, ready to go, ready to prepare whatever it is you have coming your way, friend. Okay, so for now this week, they're kind of talking about sink or swim. When I went to get a deck for one of the readings, this card, which was nowhere in that deck, came on out. And it's been sitting here ever since to remind us. It's up to us how we adjust and move into this new level, into this new season that's coming in. Now that Mercury retrograde has begun, it's sliding on into that flume of 2021, irregardless of when you watch this, friend. It's carrying us on into that new energy of the air. And that's what they want us to do is to prepare our attitude to align with the new energy instead of being caught off guard or freaked out about it or making some declarations that maybe later on we wish we wouldn't have made like today there was stuff going on my pitcher busted glass syrup like tea everywhere it was a mess and and life mercury is telling me hey joy Take it easy through this period of Mercury retrograde. Make it easier on you. Go and buy a few things instead of preparing as much. We want you to take this time to be available, to be ready, to be able to go at a moment's notice. So just go light, go easy, take things that are easy prep, even simple things like cheese and crackers and fruit, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, okay. Okay, I gotcha. So that's the thing about our planets is they're talking about tuning the streams or like strings like an instrument. So when you play and you play in that thing, baby, you're playing it fine, you're playing it out, you're playing it out of tune. And so the more you play, the more out of tune it goes, so you just retune it, right? And you get it set to your ear so that when you play, it's music coming forth and not noise. So you're talking about we want to make something. When I was cleaning this deck up and cutting and, and getting it ready for the shuffle for here, you're like, we want to make something. But then it's showing up, it's going to take a little time to get it to come to you for what you want. And that's the thing, is it doesn't necessarily mean like calendaric time. This is more almost like a point of investment time. Like, do you want to take the few minutes to meditate right now today, or do you want to wait three more weeks? Okay, I see you. You're like, um, you know, if you want a clean car, are you going to go clean it now, or are you going to wait three weeks? What you going to do, baby? What you going to do? Because the clock is going the wheel is turned they're like we're waiting on you because a lot of the wheels i love it they um they're more of an illustration of work and rest work and play that type of energy going on um so here you're wanting to just go ahead and start with the card that's out right now so i'm going to wait we've got two of them and we have the strength card so you're talking about standing up for yourself here and standing up to yourself really which would make sense when you're talking about time and the discipline thing I'm kind of hearing. Because Leo, you love passion. You want to be led by passion, by excitement, by by things causing that catalytic spark of motivation, that type of thing. But kind of the humdrum of like routine and that sort of stuff, you're not so much, if you're Leo's son especially, you're not so much. You're like, mm, I want to feel it. I want to feel it. It's kind of that, that power of the heart, the fire of the heart, right? The hearth and the home. It's got to have meaning. It's got to have purpose. It's got to have some reward up in there but it's been choking out for a minute you had some things wrapping you up that didn't need to be keeping you tied up some investments that need to be let go of because they're really riding on your back being carried by your energy and so it's diverting and distracting you off of even though they're humdrum homey hearth type of things that's coming with what has your back cancer has your back it's the zodiac that comes before you and it's what allows you and facilitates you be, to be able to step forward into the limelight to be able to step forward so confidently and boldly and it does do a form of motivating irregardless of how it can seem that is the secret sauce is what you're telling me here and you're like go up joy pick it on up because it was face down it's like let's take a look at what's up under there and we have the nine of coins and that brings a good old laugh that brings a good old laugh 
bringing it all to the center. It's the, it's the center of everything. It's the marrow in your bones. Okay, it's the life source. The marrow in your bones. So how vital we are, how active and alive and kinetic and magnetic and all those beautiful things that you love, radiant, that sort of thing, come from the marrow of the blood and in uh, of the bone. And in the bone, we either have red marrow or we have yellow marrow. Young children, they have red marrow. You know, people are still vibrant and healthy and exercise and, and take good care of themselves. And I'm not telling you no X, Y, Z, because it's different for everybody. Whatever brings spice to your life and laughter to your face and joyousness and good rest, that is what is good for you, friend, okay? And it's not just things that go in your mouth. It's the things that come out of them, too. It's the things that make you go, hmm. It's the things that you surround yourself with and the people you surround yourself. It's a way bigger of a scope it's a life that's worth living right that keeps the mirror red and it keeps everything turning and turning and, and turning over and producing and reproducing as it should it keeps it humming and drumming bay bay and you like zoom zoom speak it up joy and i'm like right 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 and now you're giving it the hand you're like woo woo well we don't want to be yellow fella because yellow fella is something that has had the life sucked out of it it's often found in the state of people who are going through cancer and so it's in an unhealthy state of feeding something that doesn't belong to you. it doesn't belong in your body it shouldn't be here and sometimes it should have gone a long time ago but some form of trying to protect yourself forms up around it to protect you from it but then because it never goes life begins to try and continue on and to feed that so then life support is set up to the very thing that you were trying to protect yourself from but it's now being fed through it mm. Mm, mm, mm. and you like look it up joy look it up what are we looking up what do you want to look up? You want some Mary L on this. Okay. Let's get you a little Mary L on this. Let's see why you stopped. And pardon y'all if y'all hear all the rum, 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 rum. They are working on the roof after Hurricane I see Hurricane Sally. And it is loud and noisy. So I'm trying to make these as fast as possible. Short and sweet. And let me turn this light down a little bit. Because talk about a headache. Whew. All right, baby. Thank you. I've had a brain injury, and I tell you, it has not been fun learning to navigate these highways and byways. So along with this, we have the two of, two of Swords, but this is really stepping into the transformation. It's not about a choice or a decision between anything. Remember, sink or swim? Well, I'll tell you the answer. You got to get in the water to swim, baby. You just don't have to go all the way down to the bottom to make the most of it. And that's the unifying of the mind, coming into the whole mind. No longer playing through the poles of it, of the angel and the devil on the shoulder, what's good or what's bad, or will this be good for me or will that be worse, or, you know, light and dark, uh, good and evil, that type of thing, because that is a bunch of chatter. And that can be the very thing that was distracting you and vining you up and choking you out and building its life off of you. Drain and draining. Okay, so this really has to do with the and, just as this does. See, it's not that or that. It's here. And that's what begins to awaken you and to draw you out of the depths, draw you into your conscious mind, into your ability to choose and to live, not based on the past, not based on how things were, not based on the before or what you've learned about yourself through others, but really coming into the truth of who you are because you keep bringing up the wheel and the harnessing of it to take yourself and carry yourself forward into the power of who you are. That, sorry, that was very much a Leo Paul. Mm, let me put that down, let me put it away. But you're talking about bringing it together because you got to have the wings on both sides to fly. You've got to have the wings of your mind. There's a bone uh, inside the brain that has to be level and even. Or otherwise, you have tremendous pressure, vision issues, um, blood pressure issues, such and so. But you're talking about getting to the heart of the matter, getting into the center now that you know that you can unify them and marry them together and take the best of both and carry it forward. There ain't no shame in that. You know, somehow we're, we're taught to think that if we make it good or easy or delightful or wonderful or the way we like it, that we're like doing something wrong or doing something ugly or doing something nasty or cheating somebody or whatever. You know, if it's innocent, pure and coming forth from your heart, it brings you delight and joy and rest and peace and all those beautiful, juicy, delicious red marrow in your bones sort of things. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, Leo. All right trying to get some runes and y'all like get out the way joy get out the way just pick the cards up and let us free i love it how's it like that 
Okay, so this, when the two come together, you're, you're completing a circuit. That's the heart of the matter. So you're talking about the circuit being your heart, the circuit being who you are, being connected to yourself, both sides as one, because you need both the negative and the positive side of the battery in order for it to operate. Both have to be plugged in and connected. You can have the finest car in the world. You can have the greatest equipment on in there. But if that battery is not powered, yeah, because it's making my nose itch. If it's not powered up, you aren't going anywhere. And what's the point of all that anyway? So you're saying electric connection is key. Boogie, woogie, woogie. And this F is for fine, because you're fine, baby. If you didn't know it yet, Leo, you are fine. And I love you, and you're fantastic just the way you are. Bring it together, power up, and step on forward. We want to see you, because when you step into your solarness, when you step into your nine of coins, and you come in all fine, delicious, happy, juiceful, juicy, juiceful, Juiceful? Are you full of juice? You are. Then that means you're ripe and ready to be pig. Taste and see how delicious you are, Leo. You might be surprised because you'll start to remember and you'll be you'll be wanting to think, oh, I need to share this with everybody. Why I've been hiding it? What have I been doing carrying other people on my back when I'm here to be myself? We're not here to solve problems, y'all. We're each a solution. We're here to creatively live and journey through them and to discover who we are. Now, out came this. This is the key, okay? Because this is what made the way for this to come about. So this is what is behind the scenes going on here. And they're saying, turn it on its head, turn it over. It's almost like the shell game when the magician hides a ping pong ball or whatever else and they move the shell around, move the shell around. Your eyes are supposed to follow. What they're telling me is shut your eyes, breathe in, unify your mind. Remember this type of energy that we're talking about? Come to the center of yourself and breathe and relax and look at what you want, what it is that you desire, and don't call your heart into question. Don't, don't do that because that's when you begin to sink. Trust yourself. Trust yourself because in this case, the moon of the mind is your heart. It is connected through your hands. So there might be some tactile uh, connection with yourself going on through this. That was uh, being spoken about cancer. So for those of you that you're kind of having more questions in that area, back up and tune into cancer. Because it was talking about, you know, uh, especially for men, the gentlemen, not, not anything against the women, but it was coming out there about, you know, woodworking or doing things with your hands. It could be baking, crafting, creating, anything so that you begin to see a product of your mind come out where you can touch it or like y'all juicy fine delicious stuff you can taste it taste and see so here release the past missed opportunities self-sabotage and unnecessary sacrifice so you don't have to bake your delicious fruit up in a pie and give it to nobody else if you want to share you can but set out to do it for yourself and if you find it so good and you want to share and you got plenty and you're satisfied go right ahead but make sure in this case, at this moment in time, Leo, that you serve yourself first. You need to taste and see who you are. You need to awaken that spot inside of you, that spot in your heart, which you're showing me is way down in your belly button, your original self, and to rise up and to come forward into this. Now, I want to get you a quick oracle, okay, to take you into the week. So you're specifically, move, 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 you're wanting a pearl. So let's get a pearl for our Leo. Mm -hmm. Serve yourself first. Ooh, what? Rest and rejuvenation. And this rest and rejuvenation really has to do with, remember, not putting it out for others. Putting out for others and taking it to others first out in the limelight, out in that place. It's a little bit in the humdrum, more of the homey, more of the hearth, more of your cancer who's got your back, right? And that will be the um, kind of the recovery and the storing up like the charge in the battery that like if a battery has ever been dead in a car and somebody jumps it off for you you have to let it run for a while or like my dad told me the best way to do it is to charge it by driving around drive around for about 30 minutes and you've brought your battery completely back to life so this could be a just a little short half hour power every day where you tune into your delicious self where you make something with your hands where you taste yourself you you see how delicious you are maybe sing to yourself maybe record yourself and watch it and be like Mm, 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 mm. I do love myself. I am pretty fantastic. I've forgotten that about me. Whatever it is, go for that walk, be it outdoors in nature, whatever turns your zoom on, whatever cranks your engine, that sort of thing. Okay? And that makes you the perfect 10, baby. And I'm excited about that, Leo. Hey, hey, leave your comments down below. Let me know what's going on, on the other side of that camera. I want to get to know you people and share this with your friends and family. I love you. Talk soon. Bye.